will this NOCO 2 recover a sulfated battery? Welcome back to the channel on YouTube. All right, I've been shopping. So here it is, the NOCO 2. Um, feels really robust, fairly solid. So I'd like to say it's definitely plastic, but it also has a kind of, I don't know, almost rubbery feel to it. But um, this, band, this charger will do 12 volt and 6 volt batteries, uh, lead acid, AGM, and lithium batteries. All right. So it is a smart charger. It'll tell you if your battery's dead. We have a row of lights here, and we'll turn it on in a second. Um, so let me just plug it in, and then. Let me just plug it in. All right, and it loads self tests. All right, so we have a mode button. Yeah, cycle through the various options once you've connected it. Um, so it will allow you, they all light up. Um, but before we get to that, uh, right, X Connect style connector. It is not SAE. Uh, it comes with a nice little rubber cap on the end. Um, there are little catches. Right, these red catches to lock it in place, right? So uh, press the button, releases it. So you, whilst it's attached, it's also firm, not the most firmly of connected, all right? So um, I think that's more for the, the other end than the rubber cap itself, but it's what it is. Um, obviously, I'm in the UK, so it comes with a three pin plug. Don't need to show you that, it's plugged in. Um, what also comes in the box is a set of rather heavy duty mm, coronal clips all right fused i want to say it's a four amp fuse in there if i can get it off on tight yep pink four amp so uh what's that well, interestingly you can actually remove the cables and, and use them as a battery direct attender all right so although these two they do two options uh, the accessory tender has a 10 mil hole. Um, whereas this looks to have, well, I'm not taking it off, but I'm gonna suspect there's a five, five mil hole in there. So, there we go, All right? And the other end, uh, yeah, you can see the red catch now for the, for the clip. So if I just demonstrate that. Yeah, re reassuring snap and it's, and it's connected, right? Let's put those to one side. Right, let's talk about the battery. All right, so the battery is sulfated. Here it is. It's been sat around quite a long time, neglected, on a project bike. Well, it's a project bike. It's my wife's Kawasaki Z440 Limited from 1982. It's a parallel twin. It's got a belt drive, rather unusual. Uh, for, for a Japanese bike that at the time it wasn't necessarily a cruiser, it was a street bike, but um, had sort of choppery style bars and so on. Um, just to prove it's sulfated, the Optimate, and this is a great gadget, this is. Um, there we go, red warning light on the, on the sulfated logo there on that bottom end. And so just coming back to this, although I do have another video for this, I didn't actually plug it into anything. So we got a scale in 12 volts, 12 volts, or 11.8, all the way up to 12.9 on a scale. Uh, we have a charging, so plug it into your bike when it's on. It charges when, you know, good, bad, or high. And the state of the, um, the generator on the bike. Uh, it does AGM, and it gives you the, the percentage of voltage of the AGM battery. Um, is it? And that's in the black circle, the standard battery is the white one, and then good AGM batteries are up here. So, um, overall, yeah, nifty little piece of kit, right? Never have a garage with that one. Right? Uh, okay, all right, so I'll tell you what, then, let's just to prove the lights on the charger itself. And I'm not going to charge it here, I'm just going to for the purpose of demo, right? Um, connect it. So, all right, if I turn it on, there we go. All right, and what we get, we can cycle through all the modes, right? 
back to 12 volts. We have, I don't want you to see this, right? Red. And there's, now, this is a pulsating current charge. It's trying to recover this battery now. So it hasn't lit up with the failed light. That is a dead battery. There we go, next level. And this will go red, red, amber, green. And it does, and they do pulsate. And I'll put this on one of the other bikes and it quickly cycles up for, you know, on the pan actually yesterday and it went from you know up through to the orange very quickly and then went to green and just pulsated slowly so um can't do that here in the garden but you can see it um it's gone up to orange and no doubt it's going to probably go back yeah it's gone back to red right and it cycles around and around so so that's what's going on there excuse me hot day um so, that's a quick look at the charger. Quick look at the ultra expensive SAE adapter. Um, we'll come back in the follow up video. We're going to how we got on with this. I think I have to leave this a few days. It's not going to be a fast fix. So, um, we shall see. All right, that's it. Come back soon.